see a brunette here, but uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, ladies, and say who you play on the show. I'm Melanie Molnar, I play Ava. I'm Megan Gordon, I play Sam. I'm Corinne Becker, and I play Katie. I'm Kelsey Robinson, I wrote the series, produced it, and I also play Ash. I'm Mike, and I directed it. <laughs> well, make sure you watch the end of the interview, because we're going to get individual interviews with each of the ladies. Mm -hmm. So when you made the title, Kelsey, did mm -hmm. you know you were playing on words? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I, think she, I think, yeah, when I first told the girls, we were like, oh. Uh, right. And we're like, yeah, have you seen Girl Parts this week? Yeah, I'm gonna, and then I don't realize the stares that we get. I preface sometimes, I'm like, oh, you need to watch my show Girl Parts. It's not porn. That's right. about how I say it. Yeah. <laughs> that was Part the first the thing I did. I was like, let me Google to see if there's another show. Cause not even thinking. Right. Yeah. And then, boom. Oh, no, yeah. Can you tell me how similar is Girl Parts to real life? <laughs> I think the best example was that <laughs> Swiffer commercial. Oh, wow. When wow. It literally each one of us got called in. Yeah. yeah. I think Megan got called oh, in. Oh. And then, oh yeah, and, and then, then I got called and in. And then because you knew the casting director, he called you and was like, you're right for this too. Yeah. And then Corinne and I were like, wait, are you guys both going in for that? And we were both like, we could probably go in for it. What has been the experience since launching the show? There's been such hype, at least around us and our families and friends, for so long to finally have it out there and being every week a new episode has been really gratifying and exciting. And people totally seem to really enjoy it. I think like yeah. the biggest compliment is when people are like, it's too short, because exactly. they want it yeah, to keep right. going. Yeah. I got the news. most amazing letter. He's actually a blind viewer. I think oh. it's Jason Farrer. He was like, I tune in every week, and I love like hearing it. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. yeah. I mean, most web series, there's no sound production whatsoever, so the fact that you guys are getting compliments on the audio yeah. of your show is huge. Yeah, no, it's really nice. Melody Maybe we'll... and shout out to Nick Isley as well. Who's the most like their character? Me. Who are you asking? <laughs> Mike. It was me. Mike. Yeah. You really, I mean, are you the Me face of uh, girl parts? I'm the body of girl parts. You're the body. Oh, are all just heightened versions. Yeah. I'm not I'm as bitchy as anybody, so I'm going to do that disclaimer. What yes. I want to know is, I want to know something that your character didn't get to do this season that you're hoping will happen in season two. Mmm. Make out with a dog. Well, we didn't start- Oh, with wait, I did do that! <laughs> There were talks of a musical episode. No, oh, yes, there was. That, was that. I think. No, it wasn't. It wasn't talks. It was full on. Was it was going written. to happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's a challenge for the internet because we were going to do a. Should I say it? A Karate Kid. Yeah, it was, oh, a, yeah. Karate, it was, it was, it was a Karate Kid best. themed musical number. Wow. I, I wrote well, it, but the rights would have been impossible to get in in my uh, the way that I viewed it. So I guess somebody out there tried to beat us to it, because maybe we'll get our- Or if somebody out there has the rights to the Karate Kid, I am now going to take each girl part individually oh for five minutes, because five minutes is all I need. <laughs> I am here with the lovely Corinne Becker, who plays Katie on Girl Parts. Hello. Um, I want to know what your character, your character, Katie's dream role would be. Uh, Katie loves animals, so maybe playing a female version of Dr. Doolittle. What is your sexiest girl part? And can you show it to us? <laughs> I was told the other night that I have very nice feet. Very nice feet. Let's see them. Those are nice feet. Yeah? Nice feet. There you go. Girl parts revealed. Feet. And my final question is, uh, what is next for you, Corinne? Uh, I did a short film that's qualified for the Oscars. That's awesome. And where can people check out that film or vote for it to be on the Oscars? Or? Uh, well, if you are a voting member, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just go to www.africanchelsea.com. I'm joined by the lovely Melanie Molnar, who plays Ava on Girl Parts. What is your character's dream role? Ava's dream role is probably anything where she gets to go to bed with like a super hot actor like Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp. Um, Moni, what is your sexiest girl part and can you show it to us? That's exciting. Uh -huh. Um... We reveal everything here. Wow, that is such an intimate question. It is an in-depth question. Um, Corinne did show me her sexy part. She did? Really? So... She probably showed you like a wrist. She's not very risky. She, she showed me more than a wrist. What do you get compliments on? Or what, you know, what do you think you're like? I can't oh, remember the answer. <laughs> I don't mean for it to be a good thing. My smile. I'll go, I'll go with this one. I'm going to say it's my breasts. 
Your breasts? Yes, I'm not going to show them to you, okay. but they are the largest of the four girls and girl parts. So, uh, wow. What is next for you? Maybe some hand work. I'm a hand woman. Oh, why didn't you say hand then for your love? Because right now they're not oh. very sexy. Um, I have two kittens. Are they insured? You know, like how J-Lo has her butt insured or whatever? They're not. Okay. I'm not that crazy. Um, one day. Maybe one day. I am now joined by Megan Gordon, who plays Sam on Girl Parts. And fun story, I actually know Megan from New York City, where we both worked at Outback Steakhouse. Yes, we did. <laughs> so in a show about four comedic women, mm -hmm. you would want to be the dramatic one. Sam thinks she's dramatic. Okay. Yeah. Megan wants to do comedy right. all the time. Okay. <laughs> she does that face. Okay. <laughs> What's the face? That is a, a serious actor face. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> Speaking of uh, sexy faces, um, I want to know what your sexiest girl part is, and can you show it to us? Oh my. I have a fantastic ass. Fantastic ass! <laughs> but not in this skirt. So my, my smile. You go with your smile? I go with my smile. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of it. I, I floss. You show the folks at home your yeah. lovely smile? What is next for you, Megan? What is next for me? Yeah. Um, I have a couple commercials running, so that's always a good thing. That's amazing. Yeah, and then I've been writing. I'm working on my own uh, feature-length screenplay right now. So, mm -hmm. Can you tell us anything about it, or is it all... Is that a girl? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and now we get to be with Kelsey Robinson, who plays Ash, and she wrote, created the show, yeah. and basically, like, self funded the whole show. How's that been for you now? Um, financially? No, no money. We, we got that out of the way. But okay. As far as the uh, the fans and the experience. It's and been the... really great. It's been, it's been awesome. Yeah. So what if, if you could go back to Kelsey a year ago when you were beginning this, mm -hmm. what would you tell her? I probably would have said to not worry so much about the views, okay. especially on Blip. It's, um, it's like a more refined audience. Right. So most of the comments that we're getting are like really, you know. So they like spell stupid correctly. They spell stupid yeah. correctly. Okay. Have you checked out some other of the book shows? I have. And are there any kind of guys on some of those book shows that you're like, man, I gotta get him in on season two. Maybe. All right. Craig Frank in your show? He's, no. He's in video game reading. He's in video game reading, but that's not on blip. No. But that's a great show mm -hmm. also. And I'd say I kind of have like, you know, like a little bit of a talent crush on Craig Frank because he's oh, yeah? funny. Oh yeah? Tell me my phone. <laughs> no, 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 don't. No, we're going to call Craig Frank right now. Oh my god, that would yeah. be so embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to call Craig Frank and see ya. Uh... What? Yeah. Or just wait for the tone. Hey Craig, it's Brendan. Um, I actually just met a huge fan of yours, <laughs> but she's never met you, but she has like a super, super crush on you, so she didn't believe me when I said that your number was on my phone. Hi, Craig. This is Kelsey from Girl Parts. Hey, uh, call me. Yeah, call me. Um, or just, you know, leave a nice comment under one of the Girl Parts videos if you ever watch our show, which you don't have to, but you should. <laughs> um, anyway, it was nice talking to your voice. So um, I want to know, um, Kelsey, what is your <laughs> sexiest girl part that you're going to show Craig Frank? Um, wow. <laughs> Both um, Corinne and Megan showed me their sexiest part. But Melanie didn't? Melanie did it, but she said that uh, her breasts were the nicest in the whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> I think that mine... I I really like my clavicle. Your clavicle? Yes. All right. And so I can show that can to you see because it? Can I, get a, a lot of men have seen it. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're a clavicle slut, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> slut. What is one thing that you've experienced working in an agency that actors should stop doing? Mm, calling too much. They will call you right. if you're getting closer. Right. Don't keep calling because <laughs> it's actually in their best interest to call you right. if you've gotten a step closer. Right. And bring cupcakes when in bring doubt. Bring cupcakes. They love cupcakes. Don't bring them like a Christmas wreath with like a little snow globe in it no. and say, I appreciate your work. Don't ever do that. Nobody wants that. So what is what is next for you and what is next for Girl Parts? I'm writing a lot more. Okay. I'm finally working on the short that I have kind of shelved for a little bit that's 
a much different direction in Girl Parts. Right. And then also I am going to be pitching a script to a few fellow web series creators, developers. Right. And season two of Girl Parts, hopefully we will be shooting probably, I would say like late spring, early summer. But it is happening. It is happening. Season two happening, Girl it Parts. Happening. Look at that. And it's exciting. Awesome. Excited well, girl part. Thanks for chatting with me, Kelsey. Thanks, Brendan. And I look forward to more girl parts. I'm sure you do. I do. <laughs>